hey hello welcome in previous video i have created integration which will take request payload and it will use the request payload value in integration so now in this video i will create another integration in which i will take request payload from user and i will return back some values to the user so just create the integration so click on that create select app driven orchestration select and enter the name so i will give you hello hello world app driven integration 04 and 04 with request and response so here it will not get option so 04 i will get only okay now i will select the package as ad click create so first i have to configure the request and the response so for configuring the request and response first i will need to select the rest endpoint so earlier i have created this uh, rest adapter connection if you don't uh, know about these things you can go and watch previous video how i have created the uh, integration uh, created the connection so let me give the name of this endpoint to so start rest i will give the name of this endpoint and yes i have to give the name print hello so here i want to get the request payload right so i will select post okay and now i have to get a request and return back the response so i will configure this tick for request taking the request and it i will uh, tick this option for configure the endpoint to receive the response for so that we can return back the response from this integration so once you will click on this two tick you will get the request and the response option visible here so just click on next so here in previous video i have explained you how you can configure the request payload so here select json and for configuring the request you can upload the file or directly you can input the payload over here so in previous video i have used this i will need to delete, use this pay, this request payload option so uh, this video i will create the json file for this payload okay so just click on let me save this save or let me go to desktop I have here file here I will select that request one dot JSON and here we have to select all okay so that it will select all this JSON file it will make request one dot JSON save and here I have to take a response right so here let me upload this request one file first so desktop oh i see here request one json yeah you can say request one json let me upload so here when we uploaded you can see that it's showing here over like the value we have added so cancel so now you can see the format is also json so now go for response so here you have we have option for response payload so again i will select the structure as json we selected the request and the response payload as json because json is easy to understand json is easy to visible to understand the user that's why we selected json you can choose xml or xml uh, sample and all what is what you want okay so here again for response payload we can upload the file or we can enter the inline response so here what kind of response we required so suppose we want suppose we have two parameter right parameter one parameter two so we also require two response two line of response so first response will be something like that let me give the name response line one okay and in line one what we required we required well something value like that higher on the for here higher on something like that high around okay and for same we required for second one okay so response line two so i will use same response line two and this line two we will use this value right high zephyr we require this kind of response from the integration so we will send around one parameter and zephyr two parameter i, I require the response as around high around and high zephyr something like that okay so here i will create another json file or directly we can put so this is the response payload right this is response so i will copy this okay and i will paste here in inline okay so here i have shown you in request that we can upload here file or we can directly enter the value whatever you want you can do so just go to next and done 
so our request and the response payload is configured so let's first <laughs> remove this error option so just go and enable the tracing variable so here for in a living tracer we can use any variables over there save so this error is removed let me change the layout to vertical to horizontal okay so now whatever value we have to add we have to add value between this to a start and this map so here this will be the using this start endpoint we will get the request and the integration will be initiated and this mapper will be the response of this integration using this mapper we can return back the response so first what we will do we will here if you will see right so what we have to do we have to map this request to the response with some additional value so let me create one variable in this variable we will create this value so here we have error so i will create one variable in that variable we will use high error something like that okay so how you can create variable in integration so if you want to create variable in integration just go to action and here we have assign option assign is used to create variable assign is used to assign the value to that variable both we can perform using the assign so just assign, drag this assign here and give the name assign variable value assign value okay so here in assign if you will see we have two we, our requirement is have two values right so we will create two par two variables so first for creating any variable you have to click on this plus icon so this is the variable created so we can change the name here or by default we can use this by default value so we will not use we will use assign so not we will use assign we will use var this var will be the our identifier to identify this is the variable local variable var name one okay name one this will be a string type we have only two types right a string and other boolean so we will use a string by default it's also showing over here a string so here in the value section we need to click on edit so here what we have to do is that if you will see here we have we have to add this value with high so how we can concatenate the message here you can see that this is a concatenated message high is the different word and the error is coming from parameter so we have to concatenate this two value so for concatenating this two value in previous video i have told you how you can use the concat function so just search here concat and you can drag this concat where else okay so the first string we will give double quotes high and the second will be the username so i will drag this p username over here validate so this will be you can see that hi p u p name one okay so close and we have to create same for another variable okay another parameter so just click here plus and here we will remove this name okay so here if you want to assign the value this same value if you will click on here you can see all the variable created in this instance so here you can see that this tracing variable two three is the default and here var name one earlier we have created and this assign value assign one is the default right now we have added so we don't want this value so we will use var underscore name underscore two okay so you can see that that assign will be removed here you can see that we don't have assign one so var name one here var name two and these two are default so this is again a string type so here we will use again concat function so here what you can do you can directly use concat okay and here i will use high space double quotes comma and second value will be pname2 okay and this end of this concat validate this will be validated and close so here we have created two variable and we have added value to this variable right so just again validate and close so friend using assign we can create a variable and we can assign value to the variable so what we have done same thing we have created two variable and we have assigned values to that variable and now what you need to do is that this mapper you can see that this is the mapper a start a rest this is the end point and this mapper is for map to a start end point this mapper this mapper is for this end point right you can configure you can identify with the name a start and rest or map to a start rest so here using this endpoint we will get the request and using this mapper we will return back the response 
so how you can configure the response because in response what i have to return back i have to return back the value of this variable so here we will go and we will edit the mapper and once you will go for edit the mapper you will get all this all this variable all this value created earlier so here if you will see we have created two variables like var name one and var name two so you can see that this variables is reflecting over here correct and if you want to see the request payload here you can see that request wrapper in request wrapper you can see that p name one and p name two this is the request wrapper so we don't want the request wrapper we want these two variables so that we can we can add with this response so here you can say this is the start rest request and this is a start rest response so this request value this value we have added and created variable with high value high p name one and we will map this high pnm one with this response so here if you will go and expand this response wrapper in response wrapper you will also get two lines response line one and response lines two we have added here you can see that this is response line one response line two we have created as a response so these two are showing here so what we have to do we have to map this value with this variable so that when integration will run it will replace this is it will add this value of this variable to here in response so for creating the mapping you can directly click and drag this map to response line one this is the first way and second way is that just right click on this create click on this create target node and here what you need to do is that here you can see that this is showing in view only mode so once it will show in view only mode you have to edit for editing just click on this setting icon so click here you can see that now you can type anything okay so i don't want to put anything i want value of this var var2 so you can just click and you can also drag it here so here you can see that this is already added and here you can see that it's mapping created so click on this tick icon so that it can be validated and close so here you can see that we have mapped these two variable with the response okay just click on validate and click on save friends i am explaining you each and every step each and every point from basic to deeper so that you will not get confused anywhere and yeah if you have any query you can comment below and you can ask you can ask so that i can give you the answer of your query so here we will save this and already in a starting we have added the tracing variable that's why we don't have error right now so just close here so as our integration configure successfully so here you can see the status as configured so what we need to do is that we need to activate this integration just click here and activate so here remember while activating please enable to this enable tracing payload if you will enable then only you can get the log message so click active after some time it will be activated so once it will activate it you can run so here you can see that this integration is activated so i will go and i will run by clicking on this test so here you can see that we don't have parameter because we have not set the parameter we have set the request payload so request payload will be visible here in body section so here you can see that we have added two request payload in request payload we have added two parameter pnm1 and pnm2 and we have given the value around zephyr by default because in request payload we have given this value right you can change here also right so suppose here we have add mr let me add mr Aaron and here let me add mr zephyr and now click on this test so it will return back you response so from where you can give the response so just scroll down you can give this so see the response here so here if you will see response line one this is hi mr Aaron and response line two hi mr zephyr so we have we have taken this value in variable we have concatenated high in this value and we have mapped this value with the response payload so that's why it's showing over here if you will select if i will select hi mr user one hi mrs user two miss user two and again run you can see that this is message is changed this response is changed so using this way you can create risk uh, integration in which you can get the request and return return back the response payload if you want to read the log message you can easily understand what is the flow what will happen 
so here if you will see in log message right first it started message received instance created it means integration initiated and with the you can see that processed by trigger start rest you can see that this is the end point in which we set the request and the response payload so here once you will click on this message you will get the request here you can see that all these values the type of method and all these things right hello hello everything we have set it okay so how you can see that what we receive here if you will see message received by assign so here we have used assign operation right so if you will click on this you can see that we have created two variable var name one and var name two and the value we assign in that hi mr user one hi mr user two and now we have mapped this value right so you can see the data mapping data mapping so just click on create so you can see that here in second one you can see the mapping value we provided so we provided response line one to hi mr user one and response line two to hi miss user two this value right so you can see that this is the mapping so that in response we can see this value right so here you can see the reply to a start back so in in this start rest what we return back is that we return back this two value this is the response so friend this is the basic integration in which i have created integration which we added we taken the request and we return back the response so thank you so much for watching if you have any query you can comment below i will create another video in which i will create integration in which take two values from user and i will return back the sum of that two value so thank you so much for watching